Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Acting Fever. Um, today I'll be doing a series about Visual Basic. So if you don't know what it is, um, Visual Basic is a programming language which is very easy and is uh, mainly meant for GUI applications. In other words, applications that uh, you see like with the buttons and text boxes and everything. And I'll be using Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Ed Edition. Uh, it's also called Visual Basic 2008.net. So, yeah, you'd want to go ahead and download that, but I'll show you how. So, first, what you need to do before you download it, though, is uh, hold on, I gotta resize this. There we go. Okay, so you need to get a Hotmail account. If you already have one, great, then you can just move on to the next part. Just fast forward it a little bit, this movie a little bit, but just say get it get Windows Live Hotmail for free at this um, URL I supply. Say so get it and then type in whatever you want. Just you have to remember what your Windows Live ID and password is. So after you create an account you need to go here into this download section which will be up at the top with right it'll take you to this page the URL I supply. The second one. You want to go down to Visual Basic 2008 select your language, I'll just pick English, and then you just hit download. Since I already had this downloaded, um, I'm not going to go through the process again because I already have it downloaded and installed. When you download it, you'll get, when you get an option to install MSN, MSDN library, uh, I'd recommend to not check it for it. It takes up like 2 gigabytes or something like that and also you can just access all that online so unless you don't get internet connection very often then um, if you don't get internet connection very often then download it but uh, if you do get internet connection a lot like I do then uh, just don't have it installed so that way you can just uh, look at the stuff online okay so after you've downloaded and installed it, the first time you run it, you'll get an annoying message saying you have 30 days left to register Visual Basic. Um, just click on the icon, it'll appear down here. And then when it asks you to register, say get registration code. Sorry, I can't show you this, but I already registered. And even if I uninstall it and reinstall it, it won't let me go back to that. So just um, on the register page just enter your new hotmail account or your old one if you already made one and then once your hotmail account's been uh, then they'll send you a registration key to that hotmail account then just uh, use that registration key to register visual basic and then you can keep it forever so yeah that's all you need to do for this part of the tu tutorial I'll actually have real tutorials in other parts of this series so yeah sorry if uh, you already had this downloaded installed and we're hoping for something I'll be in uh, the next part. So see you then.